very tough game, very tough uh, day for the boys, especially uh, something that could happen definitely and could be expected, but um, especially the first half was um, well, we were expecting to be a little bit more competitive, probably to be able to perform, to be more ourselves in the first half. The first half we were completely outplayed, uh, didn't have didn't even show much aggressivity. It was difficult, very difficult. Understandable, definitely, for the players, difficult context. The second half, we at least, uh, in the moment we tried to forget a little bit the scoreline and, 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 and all that, the team tried uh, harder. We have some situations that uh, we were more ourselves in the second half, in building up and being a little bit more calm with the ball sometimes, but then. Um, there were situations where the physical, not only the technical superiority, but the physical superiority was absolutely uh, huge. So, anyway, proud from the players, for the players, I think at the end it's an experience that has to help us to be a better team. And uh, good fight, congratulations to Australia, and uh, great for the next challenge for the 21st. So, the team, I think mentally, uh, even now, is already positive, I would say, with the, the, the situation of having conceded seven goals, but uh, I don't think it's going to affect us uh, to face the one. And if you'll forgive me, as an Australian journalist, did anything tonight about the Socceroos surprise you that they did well, or was it mostly what you were expecting? Uh, we knew that the physical differences were going to be really big, but honestly not that big. And to me, to us was uh, uh, to me one side is that we were expecting that probably we have, we have at least in our context weak forward players. That today uh, against uh, the defenders of Australia, we were not able even with the space in the back. We were not able very couple of actions made in the first half that we were able to run at the back and try something. And then uh, I liked the calm from Australia. Uh, that probably is a more vertical team that is more uh, based on the physicality and, and winning situations and duels and uh, actions inside the box. And I think today they showed uh, patience, they show more calm on the ball. Uh, we were probably expecting that in those situations maybe they could make strong <coughs> mistakes in the build up situation that we could take advantage of that. They didn't make any, well, a couple of mistakes maybe, but we didn't uh, take advantage of that. So, I think uh, Australia totally uh, dominated the game uh, and didn't give us any chance to to threaten basically. Um, <clears throat> I reflect well on the performance, and um, you know, it was uh, the goal of ours was to get three or four goals first half, so I could take off uh, through the older boys to get them ready for Palestine. Um, but, you know, uh, I think overall it was uh, a good performance, but I think we still need to be a bit more ruthless in front of goal. You know, I think we had, uh, I agree, I think it could have been double figures easily, and uh, it should have been, and, <clears throat> you know, those things we've got to learn uh, to be more ruthless and, and finish, uh, finish them off. I guess in a game like tonight, Lee, as well, is just so great. Um, how much can you learn from a game tonight that will be, I guess, replicable not just when you're facing Palestine and Lebanon, Lebanon but in the next phase of qualification as well? Yeah, the most important thing, Joey, for me was uh, <clears throat> was the mentality uh, from the boys. You know, if they um, had a you know a mindset of you know complacency, then they wouldn't have had that. We wouldn't have had that performance. And uh, right from the minute they got into the uh, hotel and we had our first meeting it was all about they've set their own standards and they can't let that drop and uh, i don't want to see any sloppiness and complacency otherwise i'll take you off or don't stay so <clears throat> what's what was important for me was the energy the energy was fantastic um you know the every every player on the pitch put in 100 percent they weren't sloppy at all which was good again we had one session to do those attacking patterns and get that all working, and you saw a lot of them work. So that was uh, great to see.
just the ball for the fourth, <laughs> you know, for the penalty. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's Jamie. You know, we know what Jamie's strengths are. I've uh, worked with him for a long time. He's he's a fantastic uh, finisher, and um, you know, so he's uh, I was really happy for him tonight. That obviously here in Melbourne, doing it at his home ground in front of his family, um, and that is uh, a special night for him. And is that sort of tied to what you just mentioned? Earlier?